Hello, I am Nicole Nelson Jean, Associate Principal, Deputy Assistant Secretary for Field Operations at the Department of Energy's Office of Environmental Management. As the largest environmental cleanup program in the world, the Department of Energy's Office of Environmental Management, or EM, is responsible for safely completing cleanup resulting from decades of nuclear weapons development and government-sponsored nuclear energy research. First established in 1989, EM has been responsible for the cleanup of 107 sites in 35 states. Today, 16 sites remain, including the former Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Site. Construction of the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant began in late 1952 with a mission to increase the national production of enriched uranium. The facility became operational in March 1956, enriching uranium for both national security and commercial uses. In the 1960s, the site took on a more commercial focus, enriching uranium mainly for nuclear power plants. And in 1993, the DOE leased the production facilities to the United States Enrichment Corporation, USEC, now Centris Energy Corporation, to restructure and transition the government's uranium enrichment operations for nuclear power plants to the private sector. The decision was made in 2000 to terminate uranium enrichment production at the Portsmouth site with activities concluding in May 2001. Over 60 years of waste generated from the site activities resulted in soil and groundwater contamination. Today, DOE oversees environmental cleanup activities at the site, including environmental management, waste management, depleted uranium hexafluoride conversion, and decontamination and demolition. The Portsmouth site has become an economic driver in the community. It all started in 1952 with the plant's construction. Today, it's a place for a site cleanup. The department and its contractors employ more than 2,000 people in the surrounding region. The most recent economic impact formulas suggest the department's operations have an annual impact of over $700 million to the state of Ohio. Since 2010, DOE contractors at the site have provided over $4 million in economic development grants and directly purchased over $500 million in goods and services from small and medium-sized businesses in Jackson, Pike, Ross, and Scioto counties. After decades of successful remediation of contaminated soil and groundwater at the site, today's EM's cleanup mission focuses on the deactivation and demolition. Over 400 uranium enrichment facilities, as well as final remediation actions, will be addressed. In 2010, the Department of Energy began an extensive planning and preparation effort for the deactivation and demolition of the three main process buildings at the site. The process buildings have a combined length of approximately one and a half miles and cover roughly 93 acres at the site. The first significant skyline change at the site began in 2021 with the initiation of demolition of the X326 process building. In conjunction with the demolition, the DOE has committed to the excavation of landfills and plumes within its perimeter road that will result in 1,000 acres of contiguous land. It will support the community's future reindustrialization efforts. To support this effort, the DOE began a land transfer program at the Portsmouth site that in 2018 transferred the first 80 acres of land to the Southern Ohio Diversification Initiative for economic development purposes. An additional 200 acres is currently being prepared for transfer to Ohio's initiative, with the third parcel identified for transfer in the near future. Like its sister site in Paducah, 
cleanup efforts were expanded at Portsmouth with the construction and operation of the depleted uranium hexafluoride plant to convert and dispose of roughly 20,000 cylinders of Duff-6 left over from 60 years of enrichment operations. Duff-6 is a co-product of the uranium enrichment process that operated at the Paducah and Portsmouth sites, as well as the gaseous diffusion plant in Oak Ridge. EAM's cleanup at Portsmouth reflects the department's commitment to performing and completing the remaining legacy cleanup work in a safe and efficient manner that is protective of the site, workforce, the public, and the environment. The Portsmouth site will quickly see significant change as the most challenging demolition projects near completion. By 2030, the DOE's demolition of all three process buildings, disposal of demolition debris, and excavation of five previously closed landfills and plumes will set the stage for final cleanup actions to turn the remaining land back to the community for beneficial reuse.